For this quick video, I'll be walking you through some simple techniques in creating a user image avatar and show you how to put together a basic avatar drawer like this one. As always, I got a lot of CSS tricks and approaches you will love to know about, so let's get to it. I have here some basic style for the body to center everything and I give this nice gradient. And as always, I box size everything border box. Let's start by creating a simple avatar, which is a div with a class of avatar and an image, which for the source, I grab a random Google image I found. Now to style this avatar, I'll first make it 100 by 100. This is because in order to make a circle, we need width and height to be the same. The image still remains too big and to change that, I'll make it always take 100% of available width, in this case 100 pixels. Now to make it circle, I'll set border radius to 50% on the avatar. The reason we can't see it is because the image is overflowing outside of the box. To fix that, we need to set overflow of hidden. Like that, we now get our image in a circle. I'll paste a couple of more avatars here. I'll change body flex directions to column, but let's focus at one at a time for now. If we look at this guy image, we can see that the image is taller than it is wide. That's why his face in the box appears lower. What I want is no matter the shape and size of the image, I always want to show the center part of the photo. This is probably the reason many times when you upload your profile picture, you are asked to adjust the part that will be visible. We don't have that, so what to do? I can set object fit to cover on the image to force the image to cover the entire available space. And to make it center the image, I'll also set height to be 100%. Now let's pick another example. On this one, the image is wider than it is tall, and if we check, we can see that it will correctly show the center side of the image. Again, another photo which is taller than it is wide, and we already know the result. So pretty much this solution will make sure that no matter the photo size, it will center and fill the available space. What I'm gonna do now is create an avatar grouping or drawer with this avatar similar to those you've seen in chats to indicate how many people have read your messages. I'll first create a variable to hold the size of the avatar, which I'll change to be 50 pixels. Then I'll create an avatar group container where I'll paste all the avatars. One thing that these groupings do is they do not show all the photos, but only a few along with a number to show how many is hidden. So I'll create a hidden avatars container where I'll put a text plus 10 to indicate that there are 10 more hidden. For the group, I'll set the display facts so everything flows from left to right. Perfect. For the hidden avatars, I'll simply copy the width, height, and border radius from the avatar, and I'll also give it a background so we can see it. Now I want to center the text, so I'll make it white, display flex, and align items, and justify content center. Quick enhancements to the avatars, I'll give them background in case the image is missing or fail, then I'll give it some borders. For cases where you don't have an image, you can use the same style technique I use for the hidden avatars to center the user initials, for example. So when the avatar is in a group, I'll need to overlap them, and the best way to do that is to use negative margin. And for this, I'll make it negative 20. With that, they also come on top of the hidden avatars indicator, so I need to shift it a little. To fix this, I'll shift it with the margin right 23, 20 for the other avatar shift, and 3 for the gap. Now I want to be able to show this avatar group either left to right, as it is now, as well as right to left, in case I want to put it on the right side of a container. I'll set a quick RTL class on the group, but let me first show you what I mean. CSS lets you set the direction which the content flows. Great if you want to make your website international with the ability to render things left to right or right to left. If I set direction to be RTL, now everything shifted. The hidden avatars in the cage now appears on the right. Because this container is also a flex container, we can also do this with flex direction of row reverse. I'll leave that out so you know, but I'll prefer direction as it explains more what is going on here. The spacing is not correct on the hidden avatar, so to fix that, I'll give it a left margin of 3, just for the spacing. Another thing I want to do is when I cover over these images, I want them to slide so I can see the full image. 
So I'll add a hover selection for the avatar and I'll use the transform translate to do the shift. This is because transform translate will shift an element from its original position where the negative margin will shift and define a new position. We could also make a position relative and use the left property as well. I'll give it a pointer cursor and transition so it happens smoothly. If you notice the image I hover on, it's coming on top of the others and I don't want that. I also don't want the fully visible one to shift since I can see it. So I'll target a hover avatar that is not the last avatar and like that the fully visible one does not dance. Now to fix the image coming on top, I'll make the avatar position relative so it maintains its flow on the original index. Now if I hover over them, they stay under and just shift to reveal more. Pretty cool. Now I need to fix the shifting for when it changes direction. So I'll move this direction property inside this RTL class body. And when that is applied, I'll shift the avatar with positive 10 instead. Now let's play with it. Let me know what you think, share with me a different approach if you know so. Like this video to support me, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, thanks for watching, catch you in the next one, bye bye.